Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem it is said that calculate the reactions at A and B for the beam subjected to the triangular load distribution. Right, so here we have this triangular load distribution. So what we need to do is that we need to find the resultant of this uh, triangular load distribution. Right, so the resultant of this triangular uh, load distribution will be equal to the area of this triangle right so we will write that this is half and the base of this triangle or uh, let's say that uh, this is the height of this triangle and this is the base of this triangle right so the height is 3 meters and the base is 4.8 so 4.8 into 3 right so this is a uh, point uh, point 0.5 into 4.8 multiply by 3 so this is 7.2 Newton, right? So this resultant is equal to 7.2 Newton. Now this resultant will be acting, will be passing through the centroid of this uh, triangular area, right? So we know that the centroid of this triangular area will be located at a distance of 2 by 3. This let's say that the centroid of this triangular area is somewhere here let's say so this uh, centroid will be located at a distance of 2 by 3 of this uh, height of this triangle or of this length right so this is let's this is this length is 3 right so we can say that uh, this r will be located at x bar which is the centroid of uh, this triangular area and this centroid is from this point a this distance is the centroid let me represent it so this is x bar so this x bar will be equal to 2 divided by 3 into 3 right so this means that this is 2 meters right so now if we draw the free body diagram of this beam right so that resultant will be acting there will be passing through this centroid and its magnitude is 7.2 Newton and it is at a distance of 2 meters from that point A right and here at this uh, point A we will have two reactions right so we will have uh, one reaction in this direction let's say that this is let's say this is a y and here we will have one another reaction like this so let's say this is a x and here we have this roller support so here we will have only one reaction which is acting in the positive y direction and let's say this is r b right so now if we draw the free body diagram this will be our free body diagram like this right and now if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 here we have that point a and here we have that point b so if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so as we can see that this rb is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write rb and the perpendicular distance of this rb from that point a is 6 meters this is 3 plus 3 right so this distance is 6 meters so we have to multiply this with 6 right so this is 6 into rb and this 7.2 newton force is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 7.2 and the perpendicular distance of this uh, r from that point A is 2 meters. So I will multiply this with 2 and this will be equal to 0. Or we can say that Rb is equal to 7.2 into 2 divided by 6. So this is 7.2 into 2 divided by 6. So this is equal to 2.4 newtons. So Rb equals to 2.4 newtons. And similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so as we can see that a y is acting in the positive y direction so this is a y and r is acting in the negative y direction so this is minus 7.2 
and R B is acting in the positive y direction. So I will write plus and R B is 2.4. So I I will add it right, and this is equal to zero. So a y this is minus 7.2 plus 2.4. This is minus 4.8. So a y minus 4.8 equals to zero, or we can say that a y is equal to 4.8 newtons. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces, uh, if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero, so as we can see that a x is acting in the positive x direction, and there is no other force which is acting along x. So this means that uh, x is equal to zero. So if you want to find the total resultant reaction at A, so the total resultant reaction at A will be equal to if we apply the Pythagoras theorem. So this will be a x square plus a y square like this. And since a x is equal to zero, so this means that R A will be equal to a y and a y is equal to 4.8 newtons. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this problem solution.